Welcome to this episode of Steaming Along the Line. I'm your host, Zach McGinnis, and today we're going to show you a little bit of steam technology from our friends at the Union Pacific Railroad and their Big Boy 4014. First, we'll start with a little history of the Big Boy 4014. There were 25 Big Boys built exclusively for the Union Pacific Railroad. Their wheel design is a 4884 type. The locomotive is 132 feet long and weighs over a million pounds. It's the largest steam locomotive ever built in the world and the most powerful. The 4014 was delivered to the Union Pacific Railroad in December of 1941 and officially retired in December of 1961, traveling over a million miles in its 20 years in service. It was one of eight saved big boys by the Union Pacific Railroad and put on display in Panoma, California. In 2013, the Union Pacific reacquired the 4014 and put her through a restoration to make her operable for the 150th anniversary of the driving of the Golden Spike. In 2019, she returned to service under a full head of steam and continues to steam along the line now. In today's video, we're going to show you a device that's on the big boy that shows you how she was one of the pinnacles of modern steam technology being delivered in the 1940s. We're going to focus on the stack hood that is on the big boy that covers the dual stacks of the locomotive when it goes through tunnels. The stack hoods were designed to help the crews on the engine from suffering from the hot heat and gases and coal smoke of the locomotives when they would operate through tunnels and to help prevent blasting uh, debris and things that are on the tunnel roofs when they're working hard going through the tunnel. On the 4014's current westward tour, it's going through a lot of tunnels, and we're seeing a lot of questions and videos online of people asking how the stack hood works and what's it even for. So today we're going to show you the operation of it and show it in action on a trip. In this video, you'll see the stack hood in operation during testing. Our friend Ed Dickens, who is the head of the Union Pacific Steam Program, sent us this video to use and show you an up-close and personal view of the stack hood in operation. So as the 4014 is going down the line and you come up on a tunnel, the crew would see that from the cab of the locomotive and know where it is with their uh, experienced pilot crew as well. The engineer would then engage the stack hood by a device in the cab, and then what that would do is the stack hood comes up like in the video and closes over the top of the two uh, smokestacks on the 4014. With the hood in the closed position, that uh, protects the engine crew from debris that the exhaust might knock off from the top of the tunnel. It also helps uh, eliminate uh, some of the uh, exhaust steam, exhaust smoke, exhaust heat and gases that could come in the cab and make it uh, miserable going through a tunnel. If you've never been through a tunnel in the cab of a steam locomotive, I can personally tell you usually it's miserable. Once the locomotive is out of the tunnel, the engineer will disengage the smoke hood and it would go into the open position, and then you can hear the locomotive and see the exhaust coming back up to its normal state of when working uh, the locomotive as it's going down the line. In this video from Bespoke89 on YouTube, you can see the 4014 exiting the tunnel and the engineer disengaging the stack hood back to the open position. You can hear the exhaust uh, uh, coming back out from being muffled from the stack hood and see the, the, the force that the stack is coming, uh, that the exhaust is coming out of the stack of the locomotive as well. We'd like to thank Ed Dickens and Bespoke 89 for providing us with the footage of the 4014 stack hood uh, in operation for you to enjoy. If you like videos and more videos like this, please subscribe to us and like us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at Steaming Along the Line. We thank you for watching this video and hope you have a great day.